Hello and welcome to the Chasm YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to set up a web server in WinCC Open Architecture version 315. So in order to do this, we want to go ahead and launch an existing application first. In this case, I'm going to launch Getting Started 315. With the installation of WinCC Open Architecture, uh, there are a few pre-built projects. So in this case, we're just going to use one of the pre-built just to show how to easily, easily and quickly set up a web server. So let's go ahead and start this project on the console manager. And what we're looking at here is just the status of all the different managers uh, setting up the, the WinCC OA server. Green is good. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Next, I want to go ahead and launch this manager, which is the Getty graphical editor. I'm going to click the green button for go. I'm going to split screen what's going on here. And this shows my graphical editor. In this case, uh, the getting started project is right here. So these are my panels, screens, and everything else, scripts, the entire project um, that I'm currently working on. And then the package above it is actually all of the engineering, the application, the, the installation of 315. So to give you an example, if I click this, this is actually the, the splash screen for uh, the, the login um, screen of WinCC Open Architecture. So all of the system screens, the system scripts, system everything is in this top um, folder structure in this project view of Getty. So really quick, what we want to do is we want to drill down on scripts and down here at the bottom there's web client underscore http dot ctl so this is a control script for the web server so in order to get the web server started we need to go back to the console which re represents the runtime server right click append new manager what i want to choose is this control manager right here and then in the options i want to write this script syntax right here so we're going to type in web client underscore HTTP dot CTL and my start mode this will allow it to start up when I hit the green button on the console this is the manual or this is to start up once um, so I'm gonna set it to manual click OK web client is added click start I do not need the Getty anymore so I'm gonna go ahead and close that I'm gonna pull this down right here open up a web browser go to my HTML5 client, which is the ultralight client, and it immediately gives me a login screen. I'm going to check my multi-monitor configuration here. I have a responsive design selected, click OK, and immediately there is my web client up and running. Very simple. And one of the key benefits of the WinCCOA web server is the fact that this is a self-contained platform independent system. So therefore there is no requirement for internet information services or anything else that is reliant on Microsoft operating systems. So minimal clicks, very easy to set up, very easy to distribute information uh, via the web to anybody who wants to access the system um, with the correct user permissives. So thank you for watching and check out some more of our videos. There's also one on the desktop UI and some other getting started series um, videos if you're interested. Thank you for watching and please feel free to visit chasm.com.